Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Black Clover episode 52, and ignore the stupid flickering! Stop it! Okay, the funny thing is that I told it to stop a couple times while pointing at it, and it would stop. Hang on. Heck, the weird thing is that, yeah, you did see the lights just turn off. I don't know what's causing it. Because all I'd have to do would be to close my door, for example, and it would do that. And I don't know why. I have no idea. Or anything. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Uh. Uh, Captain Von Vince is using his own little spell to suck out the magic of his enemies to use to call, create one of his world trees. Just in case those lights go off. So, while he's busy doing that, the others are taking care of the enemies as best they can. And... Two of the generals are wanting to fight Yuno, and they're kind of fighting over him, which I think is hilarious. And the funny thing is that Belle seems to think that Yuno belongs to her, which... No, Yuno doesn't belong to anybody at this point, because I don't think he's interested in anybody at this point. As far as I know, Asa's the one that's getting all the dang girls. Which I think is hilarious. I really do. They can never get along. They're fine when they're by themselves. But when they're together... They're just... See? They won't stop. When I said see, I was assuming that the lights were flickering because I didn't have the thing open I was on it along. I really don't. Anyway... Could y'all just be quiet in there? Seriously. Wish I could get the stupid TV working in their room, but it's not wanting to work for some reason. The speakers apparently are off, and I don't know how to turn them back on. On their TV, their smart TV. You know, the ones that have all the, the Netflix, the YouTube, the Disney+, Plus, all that stuff on there? Even if you don't use it, it's one of those kinds of TVs. Or not really a smart TV, I think it's more of a Roku, to be completely honest. Why do they have to do this when I'm trying to record? So am I. I'm tired of it too, Dad. Anyway, um, before I get off track again, uh... <sighs> Sorry, it's at this point that, uh, Cat Divergence uses his World Tree spell and grabs up some of the enemy mages. The bulkier, I don't know really how to explain it, of the two generals goes after him while the other guy, the one that looks like he uses lightning magic, I guess? I don't know. Goes after Yuno. And... Yeah, it's at this point that Austin and the others pop up and start evacuating people. And thankfully, Yuno's able to take out that enemy general by himself. And the other general, the one with the mucus spell, which I think is just absolutely disgusting, is taken down by Fendril's brother. At that point, I was kind of rooting for him because, you know, we haven't seen how much of a prick he is yet. But... Yeah. Then again, I didn't want the enemy to win, so I had to kind of root for him. Anyway, they get a momentary reprieve in the fighting. And remember when Belle was complaining that Yudo never smiled? He smiles when he sees Asta. Because they are friends. Unlike Sasuke and Naruto's relationship from what I've been hearing, their friendship is healthy. Their rivalry is healthy. So it's good. Yeah, they still poke fun at- Yudo still pokes fun at Asta's height. And all that, but... It's all in good fun. Also, doesn't care. 
He just uses that as motivation to get better and stronger and taller. And, uh... The funny thing is that Belle is just very confused as to why, uh, you know, it's being more friendly. Anyway. <sighs> Klaus and Mimosa show up. And Klaus acts like he's all worried about you know, but then acts like he's not. So I assume he does care. He just doesn't show it, or like to show it in public. And Mimosa offers to heal him, but it's probably a good thing that she didn't get the chance to try and heal him because uh, yeah, that's a little later. Anyway, uh, Captain Yami goes to talk with Vengeance and. Uh, I had actually thought that he was still suspicious of there being a mole, or a, you know, a, there being a traitor in the midst, not just the purple orca guy. And I actually was suspicious of Captain Von just because out of all of them, well then again, we didn't really know very much about some of the others, but he was probably the most likely suspect to be licked. And, um, yeah, I can understand Yami's, uh, a little suspicious of that. So he wanted to go and confirm it by getting Captain Vodgers to take off his mask because, you know, that's kind of hiding what he looks like under there. Yeah, um, we will see how this goes. Anyway, I will see everybody next time.